I make associations 73. In the voting next week, there are, let's say, 400 members. Just a figure. Imagine there are five very big competitors in any association. But did someone get the calculator and think, well, 400 minus 5, 395. Therefore, one big vote, one small, a small vote, one medium vote is equal to the same. This is democracy, isn't it? This is why votes have to be changed every two years. Because then the union of the small will always provide better intrinsic value to any association. If 385 members vote, which are the most valuable reasons for voting me, for example, or voting you, for example, 20% wages Filipino crew, which total in the world is Three hundred thousand average three hundred dollars. Then you can calculate, please. You should calculate the, the intrinsic value of four hundred years. I am proposing now. Next idea: the welfare of seafarers. Then next idea: if there are three hundred ninety-five members and some have better ideas, more accountable, that can be measured and communicated in a video like this, very nice. We don't need so much makeup or... What we need is accountability, ITF fees reduce 200,000 seafarers from 330 to 33. How many millions is that? p and I cover improving so that seafarers think twice before leaving our maritime industry. What other improvements? Fast lane in the airports, in the medicals, in the hospitals, everywhere. What others? Civil responsibility for all the members. What others? The question is that if we are democratic in any association, the first thing we have to do is reduce the articles. So every two years there is renewal of the board and only those in the board are the ones that have provide more intrinsic value to the association. By doing that, it's very, very important that you vote next Thursday, 19th May. For me, because even if I am not elected, I am posting, communicating the accountability of the targets. And if I've forgotten some, because I try to do the best of informing which are the most accountable, most important for the reputation, the goodwill of the maritime industry. Perhaps, probably, there are more that I did not get figures. For example, grants of welfare, of cadet to officer, of rating to officer, of uh, any kinds of grants we have in the agreements which are a conflict of interest because that money, I believe, is of ship owners. My policy is that it is better that there are no grants so that the payroll of the budget of ship owners goes direct to the pockets of seafarers. Our fee, 2%, 3%, whatever it is. But then we don't need to start doing bureaucratic things about grants and grants and grants and grants. No, we do it. What we need to do is communicate to countries that they are losing in a hundred years intrinsic value 88 billion, that means 22 million per seafarer, that's 4 million seafarers, 22 times 4, 88 billion. What country would like to get this income in a hundred years? Is that one? Is that two? Is that three? That's what we need to communicate, which I believe we are not communicating properly. But it doesn't matter. The main thing is that the small votes are more important than the president's or the board's votes. Please, vote. Medium votes, same thing. It's for the industry, reputation, goodwill, what we are here voting for. 
Thank you very much indeed. Like, subscribe. Bye.